Hello everyone, I'm Arunima from Nitonata and in this video I'm going to show you how to make the textured waves pattern using Tunisian crochet. So for this uh, I recommend using two colors. Uh, so the waves are, they look the best when you use uh, two colors. So for this video I'm going to use these two colors. And this is Lily Sugar and Cream yarn. So cotton yarn and I'm using a 6.5 millimeters hook with this. And uh, so let's get started. So for this pattern, you need to make uh, a foundation row with, with number of stitches in multiples of six plus two. So for this video, I'm going to make uh, 12 plus two, 14. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 12 13 and 14 and make the foundation row stitches in the back bump here so i have a separate video tutorial to, that explains different kinds of foundation rows that you can create and i like to make mine in the back bump so that's what i'm doing here So here that's 14 stitches, um, so it should be 14 loops on the hook, that's 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 14 loops. And I'm going to go ahead and make the return pass in the same color, so that's chain 1 and then yarn over pull through 2 all the way to the beginning of this row. And now I'm going to change color. So to change color at the beginning of forward pass, you just have to stop here and attach your next color. Uh, I also have a separate video where I explain the different kinds of uh, color changes that you can do in Tunisian crochet. Um, I'm going to add a link to it in the description below if you'd like to take a look. So for this, I'm just going to now change color at the beginning of the forward pass. So I'm going to make my next row with this color and I'm just going to attach it here and now here is where the pattern starts so you start with this is the first loop on the hook so that's uh that is the first stitch next we're going to make three reverse stitches so um to make a reverse stitch you insert your hook in the back vertical bar of the next stitch yarn over pull through so that's one two and three and then for the next three stitches you'll make double crochet stitches again in that back back vertical bar so if you see so the same thing as you uh, do while you're making reverse stitches but you do a uh, double crochet stitch instead of a, uh, of a regular reverse stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook in that back vertical bar there, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through two. So that's the first double crochet. Now yarn over, insert your hook in that back bar, yarn over, pull through two, and do that three times. And then repeat these six stitches again so three reverse stitches and three reverse double crochet stitches so one two and three and then three reverse double crochet stitches so that's reverse double crochet in that back bar back vertical bar so that's one two and three and now for the last stitch we'll make an extended last stitch that is because the height of these double crochet stitches is uh, double than that of the uh, regular reverse stitches so i'm just going to pick up these two vertical bars just like i normally would 
yarn over pull through and I just stop here for a regular edge stitch or last stitch but in this case I'm just I'm going to chain one so that completes the forward pass of this row that's the second row and uh, to complete this row I'm just going to make the return pass just as I normally would so that's chain one and yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning of this row and now I'm going to change color again so I'm not completing this I'm going to pick up my yellow and I'm just going to pull that through instead so you can see that the first stitch here this edge stitch matches the height of this stitch which was a reverse stitch and this edge stitch here is an extended end, uh, edge stitch that's because it matches the height of the double crochet that was right before it. So for the next row we're just going to make simple stitches. Uh, so here that's a simple stitch in each. So for the double crochet stitch the simple stitch will happen in this, it will be made in in this loop over here in the vertical bar here same for this so locate that vertical bar and insert your hook and pull up a loop And in the last one you have to leave that first chain and then insert your hook in the two vertical bars of that second chain that was made and then yarn over pull through. And that's how it's looking. And then we yarn over chain one and then yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning. And at this point, I'm going to change color again. And now I'm going to, so I have reverse stitches here and double crochet reverse stitches here. So I'm going to flip them. I'm going to make the double crochet reverse stitches over here. The first three stitches will be reverse stitch, double crochet stitches. And then the next three will be just plain reverse stitches. So what that does is it lines up double crochets on top of regular reverse stitches and regular reverse stitches on top of double crochet stitches so that maintains the height overall height of this uh, block because if we end up making double crochets on top of double crochets so we'll have a bump like you're seeing over here and we want to make a square so we just want to, to, to square it out we have to eventually even out the height so that's how we'll do it so here because we're going to make a double crochet stitch first we're going to start with a chain one to do a for that first stitch or this edge stitch to attain the height that's similar to a double crochet and then we yarn over and make a double crochet in that back vertical bar this one and yarn over pull through and chain so that's uh, or pull through two that's a uh, that's a double crochet stitch and I'm going to make two more in that back vertical bar and then three reverse stitches so one two three and then three reverse double crochet stitches again And then three reverse stitches. It's so one, two, and three. And then the edge stitch. And then yarn over chain one and then yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning of this row. Then I'm going to change color again. And 
and then make a simple stitch in each stitch throughout the row. So this is a very very simple pattern. You just have to you just have to make sure that you have your stitches lined up properly. So all the in um, in these rows which have reverse and double crochet reverse stitches, you just have to make sure that they line up properly. The reverse stitches on top of the double crochet ones and the double uh, double crochet on top of the reverse ones. And then chain one and yarn over, pull through two all the way to the beginning. That's the return pass. So this is how it's looking. So you can already see these waves showing up. And I'm going to make two more rows uh, or two more waves to show you how uh, it was done again. Um, this is just so you can see how it's done so you can do, make this pattern with any number of uh, stitches which are multiples of six plus two so the multiples of six are the ones that are in the center that make the waves and the two edge stitches are the plus twos so i'm going to go ahead and do this one more time so you just have to repeat the pattern that we've done so far exactly the same it's just it's a four row repeat so i'm going to now because I'm not because I'm going to make reverse stitches I'm not going to chain one here so it is a reverse 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 and then double crochet reverse double crochet reverse double crochet reverse and reverse 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 and then double crochet reverse double crochet reverse double crochet reverse and then we end it with an extended uh, edge stitch that's because we want to maintain that height uh, that we have with that double crochet stitch right next to it. I'm going to make the return pass now. So yarn over pull through that is chain one and then yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning. So now that's done I'm going to change color and I'm going to make a simple stitch in each stitch. In here because this was an extended stitch we'll leave that first chain alone and we'll pick up that two vertical bars from that second chain and yarn over pull through so that's the end of the forward pass and return pass will be chain one and yarn over pull through two all the way to the beginning and then change color again And so this is the, the second wave so we'll have to start with a chain one because the first stitch right after is going to be a double crochet and this is going to be a double crochet in that back vertical bar it's a little hard to find so this here it is so if you just insert your hook like this here in between this the first stitch and that second stitch and then just pick up that back vertical bar that's how i like to do it so that's first uh, reverse Tunisian reverse double crochet stitch and then I'm going to make two more two and three 
and then regular reverse stitches in the next three. And then reverse double crochet stitches in the next three. And then reverse stitches in the next three. And uh, an edge stitch. So this time you're not going to chain one because we're right next to regular reverse stitches. So now the return pass. And now I'm going to pick up the other color, make simple stitches, and I'm going to show you how to bind off. So to end this, make a row of simple stitches. So every row in uh, Tunisian crochet, or most of them, are defined by what you do in the next row. So right now what we're doing is we're defining these stitches as simple stitches and double crochet stitches. Uh, Double crochet stitches are slightly different in this respect, but generally speaking, for the single height uh, rows, what you're doing is you're uh, you're defining the previous row as a stitch. So when we made this row, the reverse stitches were made by were this row was defined as a row of reverse stitches by this row that was created. So because we have this row as reverse stitches, we're going to end it with a row of reverse stitches, and that. Is something we'd not do with here we do it in the bind off part I'll just show you how it looks and then it'll be a little more clear so this is a row of simple stitches and I didn't change color now so if you look at this this is not a reverse uh, a reverse stitch row just yet so it will be a reverse stitch row when we make that final row because that final row will define this stitch this is sort of a ghost row it doesn't really have a stitch at this point so i'm going to now go ahead and make that final bind off row and i'm going to i used to not chain one at the beginning but i've started to like doing a chain one before I start my bind off. Uh, you're welcome to choose whatever you like. You don't really have to, but I like to chain one and then make reverse pass stitches. So a reverse pass stitch and then a slip stitch bind off. You keep doing that for every stitch in this row. So insert your hook, pick up that back vertical bar and then slip stitch. And that's the edge stitch and here this is how it's looking so you can see that we've maintained the this is a rectangle right now but if I added another uh, well not two rows here but uh, if I add another row it would uh, sort of match uh, the shape of a square but uh, we always aim for having the same height and width but we'd have to make sure that you'd have uh, the entire repeat of those, uh, I think it's four, four row repeat uh, included so that you get that shape that we need. And uh, if you look at the back, this is how it's looking in the back. So there's a couple more things I'd like to point out. Uh, I think I mentioned this earlier, but it this pattern looks best when you use more than one color. In my sample blanket, I've used three different colors for this. You can 
you can make it with how many ever colors you like and uh, there is no reason why you can't make it with one, with one color also i think it will be a good textured square because of these reverse stitches but um, i feel that it looks best with more than one color the other thing i wanted to point out was that yes it's a textured square because of these uh, reverse pass stitches uh, i'm sorry the reverse stitches uh, but if this is difficult if you find this hard to do you can just make these stitches uh, the purple stitches in uh, the front vertical bar that would that would not give you this little raised texture here that would be a simple stitch at that point and that will that will look just fine as well but um, that that is something i recommend if you are having trouble doing the reverse uh, the reverse stitches so that's that's pretty much it that, that's all i had for this video if uh, you have any questions about this technique please feel free to reach out to me uh, i have a facebook group where i provide support for all my patterns which you are welcome to join i'll have a link to it in the description below and uh, i have a bunch of video tutorials and uh, free patterns um, on my blog so please check them out and um, i will see you in my other tutorials bye bye